models don't have as fine a grid. They can see that there's going to be more storms on the northern side than the southern side, but they don't have the resolution to resolve the thunderstorms like the, uh, like the higher resolution hurricane models do. And so they're saying, oh, we're just going to take we're just going to look at the upper level steering and we're going to steer the storm wherever the upper level steering says to go. That's what the global models are doing. The hurricane models are saying, OK, we're going to take into account the steering, but we're going to take into account that this storm is going to be top heavy because we have more thunderstorms and a better ability to resolve it. So this is going to be a battle um, between the global models and the hurricane models. The hurricane models have also trended south, by the way. So that's good. Now, let me show you one more thing, JB, and then we can, then then I'm going to. I'm going to, I mean, I may be able to take a question, but I will tell you on air, I have to go meet with the boss in like five minutes for a few minutes and then, so Eric's going to have to sit in for me and then I'll come back again. Uh, but let me show you this. This is our in-house model. And when I came in today, I was talking to Amanda and Eric and I told them my theory about what's going on. And I said, don't tell me what our in-house model is saying, because our in-house model is very good at resolving small scale things. And they said, take a guess. And I said, I bet it's right up the middle of Tampa Bay. So let's take a look now. Right in the middle of, of everything that I was talking about. And if you look at this, if anything, I would say it's on the south side of Tampa Bay. And this actually, this wouldn't be a new run, but the center of circulation is right on the south side of Tampa Bay, close to where the National Hurricane Center track is. If it takes that exact track, it saves Tampa, St. Petersburg, and most of Tampa Bay from 15 feet of storm surge. If it goes 10 miles north of there, it's catastrophic with 15 feet of surge. If it goes 10 miles south of there, the bay almost gets no water at all. Can you imagine how razor thin this is going to be? And that's why the